guys. Thank you guys again for tuning in to Palmer Power Motorsports this week. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed the uh, the racing from last week from the Spooker. Uh, did a little bit of commentary and whatnot, and uh, I didn't know if you guys liked that or not, but uh, not really being silly or anything. Just I, I get all worked up on that racing and any kind of uh, competitive, you know, things with uh, show cars and racing and whatnot. So, but anyways, uh, just to get back to our LS engine build here. Just want you guys to know that we're back on this thing. We're getting really close to our engine giveaway. Um, and this episode, we are going to do our, uh, our water pump uh, installation. And uh, we're probably going to do our steam hole installation. Uh, the little steam vents are where it burps the air out of the water system. So uh, we're going to give you our honest opinion on, on that. And uh, what we do to... Uh, to ensure that we don't have leaks, uh, why we do what we do, and where we got the parts. So uh, we're going to get to it. And uh, before we do, I want to thank Kevin Blumenthal, Cheetah Race Engine Development, uh, J&H Tire, Summit Racing, MMA Max, and friends, family, and everybody that subscribes to us. So we do appreciate you. And uh, let's get to this episode. Let's get the final bit of this stuff done. And uh, I think after this, um, if I've got the flywheel here and whatnot, we'll show you what we do to convert this over because we're going to put a 350 turbo behind this. So this will allow you to do a two-speed power glide, 350 turbo, 700 or 400 uh, turbo, you know, anything like that old school to hook to these newer style engines. It's very simple, very easy. And a lot of people don't realize that this is all you got to do. So, anyways, we're going to get to the steam vent deal, and we're going to get to our uh, to our water pump installation. So, uh, just tag along. Thanks, guys. Okay, what we've decided to use here is for the water pump, we're going to use a used unit. And the reason why is because it's very cost effective. A lot of these are in the salvage yards and whatnot. Now, I like to use the truck version one because when you use the truck version one, there's this little flat spot right here on a lot of them, and you can drill that out. You're going to have to drill that out and put a little bit of like a little uh, hose connector for like quarter inch. You're going to have to drill this out. We're going to show you how to do it with grease and a drill bit. We're going to tap it, and we're going to screw this in with some Teflon tape. you got to connect this to your steam port. Now, before I show you the steam port, I bought a kit off of eBay for your steam port stuff. Now, you can use the factory lines if you want to, but these are only $35. So, it's a generic kind of deal. And this little part right here screws onto your steam port. And then you got a line that goes in between them. You do not have to connect all four of them. And then you got one line here. It connects like that and then if you see this here that's where your quarter inch line comes up and it hits right here on top of your water pump that's your last connection okay right here is your steam ports it's what these are they release a little bit of uh, moisture so you don't have to burp the radiator so whenever you put your water pump on right here on the front you're gonna put that little kit see these little guys right here very easy. They just go on just like that. You take the other one here. It goes on just like that. And then you screw this line in between. Just like that. Nice little stainless steel braided line in between them. And then whenever you do that. Then you screw this little. Little dude right here on the face of it. Okay. Okay. And then that connects to the front of your water pump. Remember, the water pump, you got to tap it right there. And the reason why on this factory pump, we're going to clean this up and we're going to paint it. But the reason why is, is because it's pushing that direction. So I'm just showing you now, if this little knuckle wasn't here, right here where this line is, I'll tap it right around to right here. You want to be real close to this head right here. 
you want to be real close to it so but the, i found out that the truck water pumps and the, the, another reason why we're not buying aftermarket we just feel like it's a waste of money i know they look beautiful it's good for a car show whatnot we're wanting to pin the building we're wanting a race car so we're going to put the serpentine system back on it very very dependable even at high rpms now this you want to check everything to fill any kind of slack this feels great everything looks good this has a little bit of slack so we'll put a brand new pulley on it but yeah i'm going to drill it tap it and remember uh, we're going to get a little piece of hose and it's going to go up and it's going to connect to right there and then you're going to, get, going to connect the two here now the reason why i bought two kits let me take that off here and we'll put it back down here is because the other kit is identical and you got to do it on the back side too so you're going to put these on screw them down connect them you know connect it with that line but instead of having that one little knuckle for the port you're just going to put a plug on it but you do need them where they connect so you'll see some guys that offer a, a big four piece uh a three-piece kit or whatnot i'm just telling you and this is a little tip and trick from us all you need is connect from side to side and back there side to side so remember you'll go from there to here and you'll connect it that's it so you don't have to connect in between i've, I've done both i've never seen any issue with the way that i do it my way so everybody on youtube can bitch and complain about the way i do it but i'm telling you it doesn't overheat it doesn't burp any quicker i haven't noticed anything so what i do is i buy the same kit for the front and rear for 35 bucks put the one on the back screw in a little plug up here put the kit on and instead of doing the plug i do the little adapter here screw that on run me a quarter inch hose loop it over to the front of my damn water pump right here and all i do is make me a little adapter and i screw it in there and we're good and instead of spending 120 to 300 dollars on a real fancy kit now you got a show car do it you got the money to burn do it i'm just showing you you can take your stock water pump and you can do a little bit of converting here and you can use it on a race car and it'll be just fine i promise you that so we're going to get to cleaning this thing up let me get this thing clean. I'm going to shoot a coat of silver paint on it so it looks pretty again. And uh, we're going to clean the back up. We're going to get us our gasket kit right here. I got my gasket kit right here. And, and we're going to put this on. And um, trying to think what else. And we got our bolts here. I'm going to clean them up and paint the tips. You know, I'm still trying to do a really clean look. But this is a budget build. And then once we put that on, then the only thing we'll lack is, is the rest of the serpentine system. And uh, we're just going to clean up the existing serpentine system, uh, paint it all, and we're going to use the serpentine system. That way it's got a real nice, dependable system at high RPMs. <laughs> going to put our steam vents uh which go right here on the front of the motor we're going to put those on and uh all i do is uh tighten those down uh around about <clears throat> 10 to 15 foot pounds of torque um if that just a nice little crank down and even though these have like a little there's like a little rubber ring right there see it i'll go ahead and put just a little bit of black silicone around there and then i'll I'll uh I'll put it on and then I'll sink the little nut down and then tighten it down. So I go ahead and put a little bit there, and then every joint that connects with uh you know connects right here with threads to each little outlet, each little hose and whatnot. I uh I go ahead and use uh you know thread sail in here, permatex, you know, generally the white stuff. So um and I'll put it on every little every little you know, fitting and joint and whatnot. Oh, 
Now remember with the back kit, you're going to have to uh, put this off to the side or you can use it in your water pump if you don't have one of these brass fittings that you can pick up at your local hardware store. So I may even use this one because it came with the other kit. But remember where you put this one generally, right here, we're going to need to plug that off. So all you need is, is you need this line right here. You need this line to loop in between the two, just to circulate the water. That's what this one's doing too. It's going to circulate, not really water. It's going to bleed off any kind of extra steam and whatnot. That's what's called a steam vent. And then you'll connect this to your water pump. So as the water pump's turning and, and water's rushing around, what little bit of bubbles, because air rises, as the air rises it goes to the top of the head it comes up through here as steam steam vapor and then your water pump will take it and push it to the top of the radiator so that's why we're only doing it on the front so i don't really have to do it on the back or i've never noticed any kind of deal so uh, we're going to do the exact same thing that we did there on the front we're going to put a little bit of lube tighten them down uh, the only difference is instead of that little guy right there that goes on the front of the water pump. We're going to just plug ours off with a little plug. Now that we've got a first coat of paint, yeah, normally we don't put every coat of paint on there. Uh, we need to drill a hole right here. Oh, well, let me get, <clears throat> let me get where I can get both hands on it here. And what you do is you take your drill bit, get you a little bit of grease on her there. And now what you do is, nice and easy drill. Don't drill too long. Just like that, nice and easy. And like I said, you'll see where all the shavings are. Just don't get carried away with it. That's all you gotta remember. So if you're trying not to get shavings in something, uh, you can use the old grease trick here. guys we got the uh we got the water pump painted and uh all i gotta do is now is is uh you see these gaskets we put them on i put them on dry the reason why i put them on dry is because that's what you need to do and what i do is i go ahead and i put the bolts in to hold both of the gaskets and then you just take it over here bolt it on the front here and what i recommend is is getting it fairly tight once you get her cinched down fairly tight you need to get a torque wrench out it's going to be a 10 millimeter socket if you're using standard uh, factory bolts. And what you do is, is you torque it down to 11 foot pounds of torque and then set it to 22. Uh, OEM specs 22. Everybody does it between 18 and 25 foot pounds. So go ahead and your final torque will be the 25 and uh, or 22 to 25 and uh, should be good to go. So
guys, I think it's it. We got uh we got the uh we got the little um what do you call it? The bleed off for uh the hot gases and whatnot, or not gases, but vapor off of the uh off the deal, the little steam vents. So you've seen that that last bit I connected that hose to the front of the water pump. Uh that's how you tap into here. Remember back here you just plug it off and then uh just put the uh put the old water pump on dry. So uh, thanks to Kevin Blumenthal, Cheetah Race Engine, uh, j and Tire, Pete's Machine Shop, MMA Max, friends, family. Uh, thank you very much and thank everyone for subscribing. So tune in next week or here in a few days. We'll get some headers on here. We still got uh, some stuff I'm wanting to do up here with the cool packs. And we're going to show you how we're going to uh, attach the old school transmission. So we're only a couple away, two or three away from the end of this LS build series. And, uh, and then we'll announce uh, our free engine giveaway. So anyways, thanks again, guys. And uh, see you here in a few days.